Y'all, this is the most heartwarming story. She said Caucasian men value relationship and marriage more than black men. And a few months later, Rachel Lindsay went on a reality TV show to find her dream man. She got married, posed for pics, and now has to pay him 13 grand a month in spousal support. <laughs> she offered him 10K a month, but he asked for 16K stating, <clears throat> I deserve to keep my same lifestyle. <laughs> The woman he's talking about was the first black bachelorette and her name is Rachel Lindsay. According to court documents shared by People, Absolo will receive $13,000 a month from Lindsay starting January 15th. There is no end date listed on their agreement and he will receive an additional $20,000 to pay his legal fees by September 3rd. She initially offered $9,000 a month because he makes less than a McDonald's worker, which he dismissed. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Still, the judge's ruling ordering Lindsay to pay her ex-husband's spousal support has come to a shock to many, considering her background. Somebody on Twitter said, Rachel Lindsay met a man on The Bachelorette and married him without a prenup? Sister, you're a whole damn lawyer paying $10,000 a month to a white man. That's got to be racist. There's no way. <laughs> How you going to be a lawyer and you marry a man that you met on TV who makes less than a McDonald's worker and you don't get a prenup? That's like going to a Diddy party and bending over to tie your shoes. You already know what's going to happen. He's not a victim. He's a survivor. Slay King. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Yo, y'all got a permit out this job? Huh? We need a permit. I'm about to call the cops on y'all, man. No, a real rap. He slapped the gold coins out his ass. Happy 50th. Y'all know y'all gonna have to turn up tonight, right? All right, now. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. Y'all know how y'all was doing it back in 64. Dancing. Come on, man, get your freaky ass on, man, on King David, man. I've been saying for a really long time that this female obsession with cosmetic procedures shows that we're not in a good place, and finally people are acknowledging something's wrong because women don't really look like human beings anymore, and they're calling it pillow face. Pillow face refers to this new trend where hundreds of thousands of perfectly beautiful, healthy women in trying to become even more beautiful, even more perfect, are literally disfiguring their faces with filler. And not only does filler never really dissolve, which causes pillow face, it also messes with the lymphatic system, which can cause cancer. So even though filler doesn't improve the way we look and it's also a risk to our lives, we women can't stop doing it. Because we've bought into the message that we women have an expiration date and God forbid we show any signs of aging, we become completely irrelevant. So we will do anything to stop that from happening, including disfiguring our faces or risking our lives. I never understood the injections. Your face be all shiny. It doesn't even make you look younger. It just make you look like a lizard. And this stuff looks horrible on men too. Y'all seen Ryan Gosling? There's a beauty in aging and not having to worry about vanity as you get older. You don't have to look sexy at 65. If you're 65 and your value is in beauty instead of family, you're cooked. When my grandmother was 50, her value wasn't in her beauty. It was in her family. It's damaged. My car is damaged. Is where? Right is here. Your... If you want to see, you oh, can come over shit. To... Why are you hitting my car, lady? Yes, it's not damaged you bitch would you literally ready she 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 if i had no money she would have never gave me attention and now she out here trying to get me to end my stream what makes the money and then what i'm gonna go broke and she's leaving like hell no i'm keeping my stream on and i'm keeping my bitch off two things in this world i ain't seen a turtle with speed and a bitch i need holy shit my bad. I didn't mean to knock you out. Insert I'm sorry. Halo music. <laughs> get, get your woman a thousand dollars and see what she do with it. it be she not gonna invest into her home. Mm, she gonna invest into her looks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which the home has more value. Yeah. Mm. So that's how you know, my nigga. She can't. She can't take a little and make a lot. Yeah. She can't. A, a woman multiplies things. A woman mu multiply and add. She don't subtract. Nigga, granddad and them used to give grandma and them the money. Grandma and them go put it up. Yeah. So a woman is supposed to take something and multiply. Multiply, yeah. Make more. Come on. They taken from us. And they don't know how to breathe life into the black man. Boy, what? They don't, then the black woman ain't praying for her man. 
Man, she praying said, on her man. I, I, I said that. She too. praying on her man. I, I, I said that too. You ain't never woke up. Your woman got a hand on her hand. Said, "Father, let me just pray this." You know, she ain't. <laughs> nah, <I> never. <laughs> no, never. But mama used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, wake up Saturday morning, mama and up that bullshit praying. Nigga, wake it loud up, go back sleep. Man, like she shit with that shit. Wait. He right, a woman's supposed to multiply. You give a woman a house, she makes a home. You give her groceries, she makes a meal. You give her a seed, she makes a baby. If your woman don't multiply and she only subtracting, she's not for you. She's for herself. And as men, the more we can protect them from outward distractions by handling our business, the more they can multiply for us. It do take the right woman, but to have a woman like that, you have to give her the space to be able to multiply. I love women. We love women over here. Excuse me? You're beautiful, I need your number. No, no, her. Excuse me? I need your number, you're beautiful. Me? Yeah, you. Can I get your number? <laughs> Can we go on a date sometime? Sure. This is how you get rich without doing anything. Hey! Yeah, Thanks that we could borrow your toy. He's always in the mood. <laughs> 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 Look how many people are watching. It's going better than we expected. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab some beer, we'll, we'll be back. Cheers, buddy. How much money are we making? Uh, yep. Not a dollar. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's count the money. We've earned 38 euros and 35 cents in one hour. Boom. Public hey, risk assist. Me. Do you remember me? No. You paid for my groceries at Trader Joe's like yeah, six months ago. Yeah, brother. Dude, what? you remember me? Yeah. Oh my god. What was your name? Kobe. Kobe? Yeah. Carson, man. Nice to see you. Dude, again. good to see you. What are you doing down here? Memory, man. Dude, I, I can't forget that. It was like $60 worth the groceries. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Um, my lady has never been here. I was telling her how. how Dope the experience is. Yeah. Right here. Super so cool. We took some pictures. We're going to check some live music, man. Nice. And watch the sunset, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, All right, man. well, have a great rest of your day, man. It's good to see you. Yes, bro. sir. You too. Always. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. That's. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of guys being dudes just remember y'all it's a beautiful thing that we all get to share this experience together so let's make it as pleasant for each other as possible we are the 99 percent we don't actually hate each other that's just what the media wants us to think let's go boy yeah! you know what's funny some people talk about how they're tired of walking so they want sugar daddies and whatever but girl you've been single for what five years nobody wants you for free i mean the audacity to think that someone would pay for you I think it's like a problem that straight women have where they just like man more than they like their own progress. Stop it. Do you know I've how much of a fact the strongest of soldiers fall for man? People have not finished their degree because of man. People have not opened that business and said they're going to open because of a man. Because of a man. That your hair and lash business. What are we saying? Me, I want to do support my friends and do lash. But I, this man is holding up the line. Let's talk about it. Because your boyfriend ruined... Mm. He didn't send you good morning. It's ruined your day. Mm -hmm. And now because of that, you're not productive. And you don't want to go to work. Or you use the money you're meant to use to open your lash business. You went to go and lend him money that he used to go and buy another girl. Trouser. Oh no, God forbid young women want to start a family because we sure do need more lash businesses. They literally just made up a whole scenario just to be bitter. Stop it. Get some help. The nun on the run. In the name of the Holy Spirit, you go, sister. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ. She's a Roman Catholic. Go somewhere and beat your meat.
I am packing. The grass was about to be a little bit greener. He was about to turn them boys into fertilizer. He was about to be flowers growing over them. Some of them going to sleep. Fuck God! Most disrespectful thing men do. Um, come up to you in public when you don't want them to. Like me, right now, right here. Oh yeah, high five. None of you. Elbows? No. Oh, actually, when men. Let's go. <laughs> go. Hello, welcome in. Come on a little closer. Come on in. Don't be scared. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Tavarius. Tavarius, how old are you? I'm 29. And what do you do? I uh, actually am on tour for our PBS Children's Story. Oh, yeah. like you write children's books? Yeah. or I have an animation company that I started when I was 21 years old. Nice. And then um, it's basically about my childhood and teaching young black boys that black dad to do care. Wow, I love yeah. that. Oh, okay. Now, uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, so I have a Airbnb that's kind of like in the lake. So mm -hmm. I'm a nature boy. Mm -hmm. So I love to climb trees um, in my time off. Um, I love to draw. Um, and I honestly just like peace. So okay. I do a lot of peace and help for people who like need emotional regulation. Okay, nice. Yeah. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, I kind of take everybody for who they are. Okay. So if you are um, naturally more outgoing, I try to match that. If you're inside, I try to match that. So I'm kind of like, I'm a, I like to make my woman happy. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers is if you don't have any passion, you know, mm. like if you don't know what you want to do in life, I kind of can't help you with that. You know, you got to love yourself and figure that out for yourself. Okay. That brother's a contributing member to society. Maybe he should have just said he robs people. He was overqualified for all of them anyway. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Like, lady, just fucking, just work out, bro. Look at it. It's like she wants, she's trying to bait somebody into looking at her. You're overcautious of the gym creeps. She's literally being a gym creep. Herself. She recorded herself doing five sets of I'm a victim, followed by three sets of goofing off. What do you say you have W ribs? Hell yeah. I get out of I'm gonna mic you up and we're gonna see if you can get a girl's number. I'm getting her number, you know that. I was just talking to a girl. She gonna see me slide on another girl. <laughs> <laughs> we lit. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You look good. What's your name? Oh, thank you. Oh. I, I'm sorry. My friends are all leaving. So you gonna come back to see me? Oh my. Is that your girlfriend? No. That's not. No. Your sister look good. No, my. Excuse me, I like your hat. Your hat looks so good. Where you get that from? Gene, hold on, I can talk to you right quick. What? Leon, Leon, it's not working. Hell yeah. All I'm gonna say is can't nobody make every shot they shoot, but shoot a shoot. Well, my husband's always complaining, saying I bitch about him peeing on the seat. So I told him I could do it perfectly fine if I was a man. So he's bringing me outside to prove a point, and we're about to prove ours. All right, come on, what we doing? Shorten it up. Shorten it? Shorten that thing up. No, you're some down Shorten here. Shorten that thing up. That's cheating. There you That's go. not No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Oh, my gosh. You ready? Yeah, go. All right, show me what you got. Go. Show me what you got. It's coming. Hold on. Oh. Oh. What are you? Come on. <laughs> get it in there. Get it in the bucket. Come on. Get it in the bucket now. Now. Get it in the bucket. That's, this ain't even right. Get it in the bucket. Come on. And I tell you, sometimes it comes out dual streams. That be shooting out left, right. Dual streams. Come on, get it in the bucket. Well, get in the bucket. Come you, on now. If you cut it off and back oh. on. What? Well, I ain't got control over cutting on I mean, it off. That thing cuts on like by itself. Spout. Come on, get it in there. You got it everywhere. Spout. It's all over yonder. I'm get getting it, it on the, my shoes. You shoes. missed. You missed. Now it's all over the back side of the toilet. Oh, my. Get it in there. Come on. Something's got to be wrong if you pee like this. Excuse me? You, you start, on, start, start and stop. You're drizzling. You're drizzling. Oh, my. She don't even know you got to aim for the side of the toilet bowl so you don't make too much noise. There's levels to this. When men have more and more and more and more status, there should be a point at which it breaks, and then the more status doesn't lead to more women, and yeah. it never...
fucking happens. 100%. 23 women want to sue this guy pretending to be Lionel Messi. Did you see this? Yeah. This one dude walks around looking like Lionel Messi, and he had sex with 23 women. These women who want to sue him knew full and full well that he was married when they had sex with him. They knew Lionel Messi was married. So it's totally fine yeah. for them to have sex with a married man and to share that married man with his wife. But it's not okay that they had sex mm -hmm. with a man who pretended to be Lionel Messi and wasn't actually Lionel Messi. It's like one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. These women were willing to have sex with a man who gave them no money, who did not give them children, who fucking gave them no provisioning whatsoever. They slept with him for one reason. Because his perceived... Status. status. That is the only reason. And he's short. It's the only reason that they slept with this dude. And then you see that, and then you look at all the studies from evolutionary psychologists, and you're like, oh, it is true. I ain't gonna lie. He looked more like Messi than Messi do. He would have got me too, no, did he? Don't get fat. Whatever you do in life, do not get fat. It's already enough things in life to worry about. Do not get fat. Now, I'm not saying you can't have like a little, you know, fat is healthy. A healthy amount of fat. But a lot of y'all, y'all backs be, y'all backs be huge. But I said this to say, I'm a reformed fat person. I grew up fat majority of my life. But going from in shape or like not fat to fat, that is a hard process of undoing. Because you're not used to the psychological, the psychological aspects of being big. So you're digging yourself in a steep ass hole that you can get out of, but it's fucking hard. Somebody that's fat, trying to get skinny, or trying to get fit, I mean, that's hard within itself. But if you can control anything, control that eating, control that activity level, you are in control of that. You can push the plate back sometimes. Because I'm telling you, when you are overweight, and you're not used to it, like that's not you, it will affect you mentally like like it will affect you so drastically you won't even feel like you're the same person because you're not you don't even look like it so message of the day puts the plate back and lock in exactly a lot of it is about perception i'll be trying to tell people if you want the best red pill ever looks max for six months and see how differently people treat you and don't be one of those dudes that don't put no effort into your outfit and your looks because looks shouldn't matter well the reality is looks do matter don't be upset at the game just learn the rules so you can play the game more efficiently i challenge everybody over the winter to drink a little less smoke a little less go to the gym a little bit more and pay attention to how you dress yourself come out in the spring and watch how differently people treat you is night and day and plus working out is just great it's one of the only things you can do where you can get physically and mentally stronger at the same time and if you need some more motivation here you go stop being a bitch and come on let me know in the comments below if this video was a w or l and give me the hbo special that's a help brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time